Hello to my next video about my setar journey. Um, yeah, as an as an update, I, I I actually learned a lot since the last video. Um, I was keeping, I was watching the same video uh, I shared before about the different exercises with the right hit and the left hit, and at the end uh, you should always become faster like this. Uh, so I was exercising, I was following that exercise for the last few days, every day, like every morning and every evening. And I actually became, yeah, quite fast <laughs> compared to before. And I also made more adjustments, like I noticed that I wasn't holding the setter really straight, so really parallel to my body. I was holding it like this in a bit exager as exaggerated way. So now I'm really focusing on holding it uh, like straight. And uh, what that means is I cannot really see the different wires. Like I need to go further to see the different wires. So more and more I need to rely on my feeling. Just like it's the same if I would hit it with closed eyes, like hitting the three different strings. Uh, I need to be able to hit them with my closed eyes. So holding the setter right forces me to improve that skill. And yeah, really every, all the small things go together and it makes a lot of sense. And yeah, I still need to refine my posture and how I hold the setter, but I definitely notice uh, how much better it already is compared to the start. <laughs> and then I, I started with the next exercise, which is about um, using my left hand. Finally, <laughs> so uh, I will play the first three notes of Do, Re, Mi. Like this is Do, I think it's C, and then D, which is the, you can see the setar has these different dividers. Mm, actually, they are supposed to be 25. Uh, if you actually count, like this one is not a divider. Uh, if you see the top one, it's it's after this element, which after that I cannot hit the strings anymore, only here. So this one doesn't count. Um, but even then, those dividers are actually 26. <laughs> because um, here you see the first are three and some setters, I think most setters only have two dividers up here but mine has three. So in the video, for example, he said, the teacher said for Re, which is I think D, you need to hit the second divider, but I need to hit the third one. So that was a minor confusion for me, but I was already reading, I think it's called Par De in Farsi. So there are some setters have three Par De's at the first section and like mine, and some setters have two. I don't know exactly what's the difference there, but um, I will learn about that, I'm sure. <laughs> so, Do. And also I can do right hand and left hand, right? So the exercise is Do twice, right and left. Then um, Re. And you, you heard, this one is not clean sound. That means my, my left finger is a bit too far. If I move it a bit back, the sound is clean. So I actually need to learn the precise positioning of my left hand. Um, so this is good. This is not good, right? Also a bit too early, it's not good. So Do, Re. And then me. That was also not super clean. So again. This is good. This positioning is good. And as you can see, I'm not moving my hand to hit me. I'm just moving my middle finger. And uh, the teacher said that's important. So uh, I also could play it like this. And then I move my hand. 
but it's better to keep it here because I, I have more flexibility, right? I can come back and I can come forth. I can span basically this part of the setter with just one, one hand positioning. And even with my ring finger, I could stretch a bit further, you know, like this. Yeah. <laughs> and then the teacher said, uh, this exercise, just this, these three notes, also a bit faster. Now I need to learn that um, like one to two hours every day for the next week. <laughs> So how I've been practicing until now is, let's say, 5 minutes in the morning or 15 minutes, like something like that, between 5 and 15 minutes in the morning and between 5 and 15 minutes in the evening and maybe during lunch break also. Um, but now I will maybe do it three times a day for 20 minutes to keep to hit at least one hour. But even if I will just play like 20 minutes a day, it's okay because I'll keep doing it. I keep playing it every day and maybe then I need two weeks, for example. That's fine for me. My, my, my biggest goal is just to play every day. <laughs> and it's not difficult for me because I really enjoy it. For example, before going to sleep, I just play a bit of setar and then I can also sleep better. <laughs> it's like my sleeping routine. Yeah, so I will just play a bit more and then that's it. <laughs> yeah, I really enjoy this calms me down a lot and I also don't look at my right hand I just look at my left hand which definitely one week ago I wasn't able to do like playing without looking on my right hand and I really like the alternative between right and left hit I don't know why it's so quiet sometimes. Like the string is not loud. I think I need to hit it harder. I tried louder now. <laughs> If I just hit it once, yeah, yeah, it's the first time I do this exercise, and it's I I struggle with it a lot. <laughs> so I just keep repeating this exercise for the next two days, and let's see how that goes. Thanks for tuning in.